Good evening, it's Kuro. Got a tier 10 game in my Haragumo. Going over the matchmaking. Bunch of fad boats. Uh, very little radar threat with only the Cleveland, Haragumo, Holland, and Kitakaze rounding out the threats to my ship. And really the lesson in this game is going to be just sort of how I, I approach... Um, you know, this entire decap area, um, if I start out playing really passive, I don't have any radar with me. Um, but really what I'm looking to do is uh, to really drive home a lesson about my consumable use. Um, wh when you need to smoke, you need to smoke right now. Um, even, even I'm guilty, that's actually probably one of my greatest sins as a player is I will try to rely on my dodging maybe uh, a little more than I should and I'll try to cheat not needing to to blow a smoke um, but at the end of the day if you need to smoke smoke up quick because um, you can very quickly get wrecked by a player that knows what they're doing and how to how to aim so what I'm doing um, I'm just basically using the decap area as bait the idea most random destroyer players will go right in towards a cap particularly if they see uh, an enemy composition that that has very few radar and my intent is basically to push up here and just start getting spots for my team because since we don't have any radar I'm not running concealment expert and I'm in a DD that really isn't that great duking it out at close range uh, with other destroyers um, because this thing loves to eat torpedoes um, duking it out in the cap that's not that's not playing my ship to my advantage so what I'm doing just getting a, a lay of the land find out where everything's at and uh, call targets on you know this abuki it's a really squishy ship and my team should be able to punish it now I am getting cautious and that's going to, to be a, a key reason why I am going to be as cautious as I am smoking up when I get detected because this lion this abuki all all of those ships really can punish me heavy and I know I haven't detected anything in here okay there's the Cleveland that Cleveland makes me think that the DD is not going to the cap because a D, he's playing that as a DD should. So, I'm just sitting right here, just trying to get some spotting in before I go and reveal myself. I want to see if my team can nuke this, uh, this Cleveland. And I'm basically getting ready to, in my head, I'm going to see if I can interdict this Pomeran with Torps. Or maybe this Lion. <clears throat> and then I get detected. Since I'm detected, I know I've got a couple seconds before things start shooting me. Oh, here's the enemy Haragumo. He's up. Now notice my speed. I'm, I'm already super slow. I can instantly smoke up and I'm gone. Now take a look at, uh, at the minimap because that's something that doesn't get addressed frequently either. Uh, look at all the things that can that can spot for me. Uh, so scratch the uh, the Yagumo. He could be you know a smoke build. He could be smoking up to shoot the Cleveland or something like that. Stranger things have happened. But in that case, I've got the Bismarck here. I've got the Ibuki. All of them can keep this Haragumo spotted. <clears throat> so rather than risk this Ibuki. And this lion getting a, a really good HE shot off on me, uh, and trying to trade it out, you know, with the with a, an enemy Haragumo, I'm instantly just gonna smoke up. Now he's gonna blind fire me a bit in the smoke, <coughs> but that's gonna rapidly drop off compared to the effectiveness I'm gonna have on him. And you can see I'm really just starting to rack those shots home. And he's, he's already lost more than half of his HP by the time he's smoking up. And at that point, I'm just going to take some shots and I'm just going to skedaddle out of here. I should be popping speed boost. There it is. <clears throat> and that's why. want to get off the X so, uh, so I can uh, avoid those torpedoes that <clears throat> are inevitable, 
inevitably going to be coming. Using my torpedo consumables. Um, the lion turned all the way out, so not the best torpedo target. <clears throat> um, now here, this is a little bit of a greedy play. I see how low this Hargumo is. I'm trying to knock this guy completely out of the fight with this engagement. I've got a really good HP trade on him. That hit was just vicious. Another fire on him. <clears throat> I know I'm going to take some damage here, but I've basically completely neutralized that Hargumo. He's going to have to play super safe around me uh, as long as I can avoid a lot of damage here. <clears throat> Since the lion shooting HE, I can just angle right at him, and uh, I'm able to avoid most of the damage here. So, a little bit of damage here, but in return, I, I've basically crushed this Haragumo. <clears throat> And that's just going to start opening things up for me. Excuse me, my voice is going. So, I'm not going to shoot here. I'd really love to, to follow up, get some fire damage on this lion. But all this stuff back here is just too much. <laughs> this Haragumo, he's obviously got a death wish. So again, just reverting back to spotting, seeing what's going on. <clears throat> and if you look at the mini map, my team that captured Decap, they're already they're they're not going to push through. They're they're going mid for some reason. <clears throat> Here I wait till the lion shot. I'm going to try to see if I can knock this guy out here since I've got smoke coming up. Now I am going to take a pretty good hit from uh, the Ibuki here, right there. And uh, that's just going to trigger my smoke. I'm just going to go ahead and drop off. <clears throat> Notice I'm changing direction. They last saw me when I was reversing. Uh, now I'm accelerating just to make sure that I'm not at my last known location on the minimap. Just seeing if I can knock out the Hargumo here. <clears throat> Unfortunately, no. Switch back to the Lion. See if I can finish him off. He is repairing. <clears throat> this smoke was a little greedy. It's, it's not my best smoke. I, I've got a really good smoke coming up that uh, I can use as an example for... Uh, you know, a real good damage dealing smoke. <clears throat> so it's just just keeping the, the shots going. Not I'm shooting over uh, the lion at this point, but he took that shot. That's going to get him spotted again. <clears throat> He's already got a couple unrepairable fires on him. I believe I'm going to pick another one up right here. Yep, there it is. And that, that guy's he's gonna be getting getting punched out soon. <clears throat> now since everything's moving out of my range, nothing's really spotted over here, I'm gonna move out again. So I know I've got this low health Haragumo. Um He's, I still have basically three times the amount of HP he does. So I'm not too worried about him. <clears throat> I'd love to track down this Ibuki though. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to use this island right here. Put it between me and the Ibuki. And that'll also give me some information about where this Haragumo is. The idea being behind with that is as soon as I shoot, this island's going to create like kind of a, a Pac-Man signature with my line of sight. Where right now I'm not spotting the Ibuki. My Suyas is. Um, but that's telling me somewhere out here 
the enemy Haragumo is somewhere maybe down in here uh, those are all likely areas that the enemy Haragumo can be now since I got undetected here it tells me that more likely he's back down here <clears throat> now this has the makings of a really good smoke screen take a look at the mini map I've got one two three four ships all pushing into me now I'm still a little bit further away than I'd like uh, but I'm going to smoke up quick anyway because this this game is quickly becoming a stomp and I'm trying to get any any amount of damage that I can out of this. There's the Haragumo and you can see <clears throat> when I was shooting at the uh, at the Ibuki he was back down in here somewhere. So Ibuki really squishy ship even though I, I don't have IFHE for some reason the 100 millimeter guns uh, the penetration war gaming gives them is just disgusting and it just shreds cruisers <clears throat> so just switch and ride uh, right on to the next target this enemy Hindenburg kind of getting a little confused here with the Vladivostok in the in the foreground <clears throat> Hindenburg turns out and I'm just gonna just gonna try to focus down this Vladivostok and just just keep you know punishing anything that's coming my way <clears throat> you see how I'm just kind of rotating my shots over the length of the ship trying to hit multiple zones so I don't have you know four or five volleys in the air all on a superstructure I want to try to spread the, the shots out, so uh, try to get those multiple fires in multiple locations on his ship. <clears throat> so anyway, that's uh, that's just a, a, I feel that's a really good basic uh, destroyer video on, you know, using your smoke. I was, I was really aggressive about using my smoke in uh, a couple of these instances. The one time I didn't, took a little damage from that Ibuki. Um, <clears throat> not the end of the world but you know if if that if this game had been tight that that hit could have been the difference between you know having the fight to uh, having the HP to, to carry a fight on to somebody or not and uh, those hits can definitely add up over the the course of the game uh, anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any questions or comments leave them below um, the build description is as usual is in the video description as well as the invite to the community discord um, hope you guys are having a good night and I will talk to you later